Don't you got nothing in your strip? What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack-jawed? Pull the ring off on Vari's hand at the Bellander mines. Feller was always tampering with souls in the dark ring. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Well, looky who decided to show. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me! It's in Bari! Ha! Knew it. He says he went to the Vellander Mines to... observe his mistake. But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, 
You're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take Anvari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. Anvari isn't happy about us taking his stuff. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. doesn't fall far. Uh. Inbari says this dwarf was part of his crew, that he died because of his mistakes. He sounds sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. did not like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. Cannot be trusted. It's that ring boy. I don't know how.
boy. Yes, sir. Boy. Another map. Great. And a traveler. Guard up. Dead soul eater. What's a soul eater even doing here? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore.
workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. Please, just listen. Invari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his lab, and he's sorry you kept trying to trick him. His hammer is just through this gate. Is a fine hammer. Invari says thank you. Talk to the blue one.
to find that hammer? Here. The alchemist's hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah. Andvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. <laughs>